Hello everyone, welcome to the next lesson in Power Apps course. In previous video, we have started developing the employee database application. And in previous video, we have learned about what is that application overview and how to create the SharePoint list. So we have SharePoint list created as employee database. And in this video, we are going to create a landing screen to show all the employees. So let's start with developing the employee database application. So open the maker portal, which is make.powerapps.com. Navigate to the apps section or you can click on blank app. So I'm moving to the app section, click on new app and click on canvas app. So here we are going to give the app name as employee database application. Now for now, we will select the format as tablet. We'll click on create. So this is a blank canvas app that got created and you see that we have a default screen one. So we can rename this screen as landing screen. Okay. Now we are going to show all the existing employees on this landing screen. And we know that to show the data from a SharePoint list, we can make use of gallery control. So let's click on the insert control and we have uh, these many types. I have already explained you what are these different gallery and their types and which gallery is useful at what scenarios. So uh, in this scenario, we are going to use the blank vertical gallery. So you see that when I added that gallery, we don't see any control inside that gallery and it is asking us to select the data source. So we have to first add our SharePoint list as a data source in this application and you know that how to add it. So we can navigate to the data source, click on add data and select SharePoint as a connector. Scroll down and select the standard SharePoint connector. Use your connection. Select the leave app. So this is a SharePoint site where my employee database list is created. Click on connect. As soon as I added it, you can see that employee database list got added under this database. Now I can provide the data source to this gallery as an employee database because you see that currently it's a custom gallery sample. So we can change it as employee database. You can select that from here in the drop down as well. Now when you play that app, you don't see any data inside that gallery. So we can add some controls over here. So this is one control which is now showing me the title. Let me add another control. Now it is showing me the first name. Let me add another control. Now it is showing me middle name, last name. You can see that whenever I started adding few controls, it automatically taking some uh, columns as this item dot date of birth. So let me add few more column here. This is age. This is my present address. This is my permanent address. And when you play this app, now we can see that we have this data and which is similar to this data. Now we are going to make it look better. Uh, but for now, let me add few more rows in the backend here so that I will be able to see all those rows here. Okay, I have added four more rows in this list so that the data can be visible properly. And now uh, to refresh this data, I can just click on these three dots and click on refresh. And this should bring me all the details. And now you see that I have got all the five rows in this gallery. Now let's make it look better. So the template we can reduce a bit like this. We can put some border. So, as 
as this is the first time we are developing some uh, landing screen using SharePoint as a gallery source, I'm not going to focus much on the UI part because in our upcoming videos, I'm going to explain you how to make Power Apps look good, how to make a user a friendly user interface, what are the best practices to develop the user interface in Power Apps. So for now, uh, this is just to explain you how to create the application using SharePoint. So don't go much into the UI uh, optimization part. So this will be uh, fully on the functional part. So this is a gallery. Now, if I want to add some uh, labels at the top of the gallery, I can make use of label control. So don't click inside the gallery because gallery uh, will repeat its control. So when you uh, when you see when I added this label, it got added for all the existing employees. So if I want to add the headers above the gallery, I can make use of a uh, text label. So click outside the gallery and use this text label. So for now, what we will do, uh, just select all the labels inside the gallery using control A button, make the width as let's say 150 it's already there so we'll adjust x position for each control so this is 150 that means this will come as x as 150 the x of this control will be 300 then the x of this control will be 450 move this to the right then date of birth would be 450 plus 150, which is 600. Then this would be 750. Then this would be 900. And this would be, just increase the width here. And this would be 950. What is this? 900. So this will be 1050. Okay. Then add the labels over here. Uh, their width is also 150 and just let's uh, add some background color to those labels so let me add as this blue color and let's copy paste these labels so you can just control c control v that can be done And in this way, our gallery is completed. So if you see, uh, we have this landing screen where we are able to see all the details about the employees. Now just uh, update the titles of these labels. Like this will be the title. This one as first name. This is as middle name. Last name. Date of birth age present address permanent address okay so let's add some border to each of these labels so when you select the gallery we can see that the border is one and the border color we have selected is let's say uh, this one let's add the same so select all the labels provide the border as one and border color as this one now you see that our gallery is looking better so uh, this is the landing screen so we will add some header over here at the top of the screen just to show that this is a employee database application so just click on this white space and click on rectangle select a rectangle sorry so once you select rectangle you can see that we can increase its width we can decrease the height a bit and you see that we got some header here uh, on this label we can put some label as well so i'm putting one label and uh, i'll say the label text as employee database application okay so increase the width of that label in we can also increase the height as well and as this is a 
black color we can change this to white using the color property so here you can select the color as white now we can say align center uh, increase the font size also the font weight at semi bold you can change the font as well so i can make it georgia or open science and in this way we got our heading as well so this is the landing screen uh, of our employee database application it was very simple so we have basically created uh, we have basically used the blank vertical gallery with the help of which we were able to show all the employees from the backend sharepoint list and in the next video we are going to put some view and edit button over here in the gallery so that uh, hr can or the employee can view all the details about this user he can update the details about that so if we switch back to our course content go to power apps course so uh, the objective of this video was to create a landing screen to show all the employees and in the next video we are going to create an employee detail screen for cred operation so i hope you are clear about how to create the landing screen which shows all the employees if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section till then thanks for watching and have a nice day